Hi, I'm Rachel Wall, founder of Inspired Hygiene, and I'd like to share with you today some observations that I've made over the last 10 plus years of having the privilege of working with dental practices to really grow through hygiene. And these are challenges and issues that have really held hygiene departments back from continually improving and growing, and they are so universal that I bet at least one of them will apply to you. So one thing that we see very often is that the dentists, you, are great at being very focused to take high-level CE and do a lot of professional development. And sometimes what happens is the hygiene department kind of gets left behind. The other thing that we see is that the whole team just really isn't on the same page with hygiene protocols and perio protocols and that sometimes that allows the schedule and sometimes even insurance companies to dictate the standard of care rather than you and your team setting that standard. And very often, you know, you can be working hard, but those results you're seeing from the hygiene department are kind of stagnant. And that may be a result that, of just your hygienist being burnt out. You know, over years and years, they've tried to do these difficult profies and stay on time while things just keep getting added to the list of, you know, what needs to be accomplished in the hygiene department. And so this creates frustration. It creates frustration for you, and it creates frustration for your hygienist too, and sometimes they're just not sure what to do about it. And these obstacles that most practices face, you know, really keep the hygiene department from growing. You know, sometimes it's the hygiene schedule, sometimes it's belief about the value of the care that you're delivering, or maybe the words that you're using with each other and your patients, and sometimes even the equipment that the hygienists have or don't have, in the hygiene department can help kind of hold them back from getting to where they'd really like to be. And what we know is that no hygiene department can improve and sustain growth without identifying those obstacles and really coming up with some strategies for overcoming them. And so how do you know if your hygiene department has that potential to grow? And the answer is the Dr. Discovery Day. So the Dr. Discovery Day is a unique workshop experience for dentists and dental spouses only that allows you to look with your hygiene statistics at the potential in your hygiene department and really figure out where the next place is to grow. And the great thing about Dr. Discovery Day is you have an opportunity to spend time with your peers as well and hear what's worked with, for them. And some of the topics that we'll cover in the workshop are things like you know, looking at that analysis and figuring out where you are now, where you'd like your hygiene department to be, and some strategies to get there. You know, we'll also look at how your entire team's uh, awareness of periodontal disease and beliefs around treatment can affect the success of your whole practice. We'll look at some pros and cons of various hygiene models, compensation models, and how you can find one that best fits you and your hygienist, and also really start to identify and clear some of those obstacles that you're facing. So if you're intrigued, if you're excited, we are accepting registration for Dr. Discovery Day, and you will just see the link below, and uh, we hope you'll choose to come and spend some time with us and other advancing dentists who really want to empower their hygiene departments to grow their confidence and grow the level of care that they're delivering through great leadership strategies and just education. And if you know another dentist that you think might be interested, we'd love if you would invite them as well. And so we plan to deliver a lot of value and pack a lot into this day. So we think registration's gonna fill up pretty quickly. So grab your spot and we hope to meet you soon.